Hey everybody, in this video we're going to do a test to see how long the Ford F-150 Power Boost uh, can run on uh, hybrid and how long it takes to warm up till it kicks into hybrid mode at uh, minus 21 degrees Celsius or it's about minus 6 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we previously had minus 30, minus 35 weather and the Power Boost started up no problem so I thought I would do a video to show um, how much idle time that you can save while you're warming up your uh, truck in the winter time. So what we're going to do is we'll do a remote start on it and we'll let it run. See how long it takes before the engine shuts off into hybrid mode. Give it a little bit more time to see when it, the engine turns back on. And then uh, we'll time that all to kind of see how much idle time we save. So we'll go to start the truck. We'll start the truck with my remote start.
kicked into hybrid mode and it took almost six minutes for it to uh, warm up and up for the engine or the heater inside to still blow warm air. We get it still in hybrid mode and we're, uh, we're saving on uh, idle time right now. So it'll probably stay like that for a couple minutes and then the engine will kick back on to heat everything back up again. So we'll check back in once uh, once the engine starts back up. Well, the engine just started back up and now we're at six minutes and 50 seconds or so. So it, it went into hybrid mode for about a minute and it kicked back in again. So we'll give it one more cycle to see what kind of problems we're looking at. Back on hybrid mode again, this time at 7 minutes and 50 seconds, so ran for 6 minutes, idled for 1 minute, ran for 1 more minute, and now it's idling again, so we'll do one last, or sorry, it's on hybrid mode again, so we'll do one last hybrid test and then uh, maybe take it for a drive. Okay, it's running again one more time at 9 minutes and 10 seconds, so, so that's about another minute of uh, hybrid time, so or one minute on, one minute off, kind of at this point to keep things all nice and warm, so uh, yeah, it's been idling for 9 minutes and at minus 21 it's warmed up and ready to go. Ah, so now we've let the truck warm up for about 10 minutes, minus 21 degrees Celsius, like I said, minus 6 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got in the truck after 10 minutes of idling between hybrid mode and engine on mode. And uh, yeah, so I guess I should explain the um, remote start settings that we had. Everything was set to auto, so the inside's auto temperature controlled. The seats and heated steering wheel will be automatic as well so now that we get in here uh, the seats are fairly warm they're not as hot as they would get if you had the seats on high and the steering wheel is nice and warm which is nice when you live up in the north so now we'll start up the truck <laughs> so we've uh, kicked it in engines on at the moment uh, so if we go into our vehicle settings here, I could show you what the remote start settings were. Um, so if we go down to remote start setup and then climate control. So you can have it on auto so the truck will kind of figure out how to heat it up or heat the inside up. Um, so the run times can probably vary depending on how warm or cold it is outside. Um, sometimes 
if I know it's going to be a heavy frost or if there's like freezing rain in the morning, I'll go to last settings and then turn on the max setting for the heat control. So when the truck starts up, it's going to um, like heat it up pretty much continuously. And if you have that setting on, it's going to greatly reduce your the amount of time your hybrid uh, kicks in. Um, so when you switch it to max, it's pretty much going to... Um, let your engine run continuously and so we would do that through like last settings and then when you get out of the before you get out of the truck and shut it down at the end of the day or whatever if you turn it on max or auto or whatever then it'll just automatically go back to those settings but generally i leave it on auto um even in the if it's frosty outside um the everything heats up enough that it loosens up the frost on the window and you still have to do some scraping but uh, you basically have to do that anyway, so I don't find a uh, great advantage of leaving it on max. And then the seats and steering wheel, you can have that off or auto. And auto's nice because then you get in and your seats and uh, steering wheel are nice and warm and you're ready to go. So I'd say even at minus 21, or you could probably get in the truck and you're ready to go at like five or six minutes or if it's minus 30 minus 35 it's more like closer to 10 minutes but uh yeah it's a pretty nice feature to have and i think the hybrid the hybrid uh aspect of the power boost will save a lot on runtime in uh, northern environments so you don't uh you don't spend so much time uh or you don't waste as much fuel with your truck idling outside when it's already nice and warm so it's a pretty pretty good feature to have yeah, so thought I'd share that with you guys, so thanks for watching.